How you doing? What I'm going to show you today is how I pressurize my pipe work air testing every day on all my installs to make sure that I'm sound as I'm going as of like a progressive sort of install. Now what I use is the inflator from Milwaukee which uses an M12 battery and what I've done is I've made these little rigs up which uses a Schrader valve which is 1 8 and then I go into a 1 8 to 1 quarter bush or a nipple and then that goes into a quarter to half inch and then I put a soldered male iron half inch to 15 mil and the start of it looks like this and then what I can do is I can either reduce up to 22 mil using a speed fit thing like that or I just connect onto another bit of pipe work using another 15 mil speed fit socket and what I've actually done is I've made another one for 10 mil so this uses again a speed fit socket and I use this to either push out oil lines or test my oil lines before I actually fill them up with oil so it's pretty easy what I'm going to do is I'm going to put a test on a bit of pipe work right now for you so we go speed fit socket on this is the joint and the pipe work that I'm going to test he just gets pushed on nice and easy speed fit cap end on the end and then what we do is we basically just twist this connector on I'm just going to do it hand tight because that's all it really needs just like that and then what I'm going to do is basically push the arm button and then I'm going to set it to half a bar half a bar pressure now because this pipe work is so small it might actually overpressurize to about six bar or something like that because it hasn't got the room to expand. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to push the button. Oh, it's actually pressurized to half a bar. Now, if this number doesn't drop, then we know that this pipe work is sound. So we do this on all our sort of installs just to make sure that we're okay as we go because we don't want to fill up any necessary pipe work that might have a problem when the, all the ceilings go up. And you can hear it break down to simulate a leak and the numbers drop down. So that is how I pressurize all my pipe work up. And what I'm gonna do is I'll put a link in the description of all these little fittings that I use, mainly to sort of step down and step up so you can start using your inflator as your pressure tester.